Welcome back to another episode on my channel. In today's episode, sorry, in the last episode, we did a cap tier list for the movies in the T Marvel Cinematic Universe. Every film released so far ahead of the new release that coming later on out this year, the Marvels. And at the start of the last video, I said there were four things that I love. Food, football, food, movie, and the, and the topic of today's movies and the topic of today's video, TV shows. And we're going to be ranking the characters in a show that I loved, what that I've watched twice now, and that I is one of my favourite shows to watch. And that is the Freeform 2010 series that lasted until 2017 and had two spin-off series, The Perfectionists and Ravenswood, but also a new original released on HBO Max last year. It's Pretty Reliers. We will be ranking major characters. We will be ranking... A select few set of characters. We're going to be ranking 77, 77 characters in this tier list. But you ask what? But the question you ask is what tiers will we be ranking these characters in? Well, at the bottom, worst of the worst. This is this is all the characters. All the characters. Who are not just bad characters, but also bad personalities. So this is saved for the this is saved for the bad baddest characters. Some obvious if you watch Pretty Liars. Some less obvious if you don't watch Pretty Liars. Uh, or less obvious if you haven't watched Pretty Liars in a in a while. Second from bottom. Second from bottom is second tier from the bottom is the bad to the core tier. So these are the characters who are bad people. Not bad characters, bad people, and they have no redeeming qualities. There's that song in descent in the Disney trilogy, Disney Channel original movie trilogy, the Descendants, Rotten to the Core. Well, these people, these characters aren't as bad as the VKs in the first Descendants film, but because they were the VKs in Descendants were rotten to the core, but these characters are bad to the core. Yep. Middle is the okay. Middle is the okay characters. Is the okay tier, this is for the characters who are, who, these are, these are for the okay characters. So the characters who aren't amazing, but aren't bad. Second tier from the top is good as gold. These are the good characters, the good characters with good qualities. They may have some, they may have done some bad things across the series, but overall they're generally good people, good characters. And finally the top tier, which is the biggest, which is the best tier, is the Pretty Little, like a Little Liars Icons tier. And and what this me is, what this tier is for, is for the best characters. I don't know how many will be in that tier, but let's say at least that my top 10 will at least my top ten, my top ten will at least be in that top tier. The top tier will be my top ten, and then how, however many else. Now I released. I released a video not so long ago doing the ranking the seasons of. Pretty ranking my top 10 characters of Pretty Little Liars. Well, 
since that video, since that video, I've decided on a top 10. I've decided on a proper top 10. Like the top 10 that I did for that video wasn't, you know, like four. That was my, re that was the top, that was my top 10 after having just rewatched the show. But since then, my top 10 has changed. But since then, my top 10, my opinions on my top 10 characters of pre has changed. But without further ado, let's get on with the tier list. I've got, before we do actually do go to the first character, I've got three bits of three. I've got... I've got three pieces of paper here with all the names of all the characters we'll be putting on this tier list. Like I said, 77, there's 77 names on these three pieces of paper, which is all the characters we'll be ranking on the tier list. So hopefully you're ready. Hopefully quickly take a little peek at how many names there are there, because we're going through all those and putting all those names on the tier list. So first character is Spencer Hastings. Uh, Spencer Hastings, one of the main six characters, one of the main characters of this of the whole show. Um, Spencer, Spencer is a good character. And like I said, and I said this in the Poor Liars top 10 list that I did. My top 10 Poor Liars list video that I did not so long ago. That she was the worst out of the Poor Liars. And that is the, out of the Liars. And that is the, and that is still the case here. But that does not stop her from going in Pretty Little Liars icons. So yeah, she's gonna go straight in Pretty Little Liars icons. No, but no surprise, she is one of the main characters. And I can't I can't is obviously one of the most show's most iconic characters. I'm also gonna rattle through another few. Hannah also goes in Pretty Little Liars icons. So does and so does Aria. Uh, Ezra is up. We got Ezra Fitz. Also goes in the Pistolized Icon lit, uh, tier. Um, Emily also goes in Pistolized Icons. No Again, main character. Ezra goes in there because. I like him as a character, and he's my, my second favorite character in Pure Eyes. Uh, Allison. Allison is a device. Allison is a divisive character, but just like, but she also goes in. Pff, Allison, because in the end, she came through for her friends. She let go of whatever everything that she, what she was, she let go of what she was, her personality and what, and what she was like in the past and looked towards her future and improved her attitude, improved herself, her, her personality and became a better character of the series. So deservedly ends up the series by going in Pure Liars Icon. Next up, the first of the mums, we got Ashley Man, Hannah's mum. Um, Pam, uh, so Ashley Marin, Hannah's mum, is a very nice person and a very nice character. And well played, and the actress who plays her does a really good job. If I had if I had to put Ashley in a tier, I'd put her in good as gold. Uh, 
Uh, next up, second mum. Cat, second mum of the liars. Second liar mum. Second pistol liar mum. Oh, here's mum, Ella Montgomery. Uh, Ella, Holly Marie Combs, that amazing. Absolutely amazing. Amazing in the show as Mrs. Montgomery, as Ella Montgomery, oh, here's mum, and, you know, she is a good mum to both Mike and Ari, and I do feel sorry for her at the start of the series, as she is coming off the fact that her husband Byron did cheat on her with a someone with a person in her, in, in her 20s. But that's not anything, that's not a fault of her. So she will go in good as gold. Um. Okay. Oh. Good as gold. Um, but yeah, there's not much more to say about Ella. Good mum to both Mike and Arya. Oh, yeah. Sad to see. I'm annoyed. I, I, I hate that she is... Obviously, she. I feel sorry for her that she's coming off the back of, by, of being cheated on by Byron. But overall, she's a strong woman. She's recovered from her husband. <laughs> Dump... Uh, cheating on her and by the end of the show they're back together her and Byron are back together so yeah good as gold uh, Byron like I said Byron like I said when I was talking about Ella Byron is a at the start of the series was a bad character and would have got, would go in bad to the core but since him, him. Since he cheated on Ella, he's improved not just as a as a husband, but also as a mu as a father to Arya and Mike. And by the end of the series, I do believe one, he's deserves to go in the good as gold category, and two, I do believe he's the right person, the right dad for Arya. Um, the third. The third Pretty Little Liar mum in Pam. Now, Pam. Pam is a very good person. A very genuine person. And yes, she does. And yes, when Emily comes out as gay, she does kind of neglect her daughter. But in the end, she does warm up to it and she does show that she does care about not just her own daughter, but her daughter's own daughter's relationships and her own daughter's, who her daughter is. And she comes to terms with the fact that Emily is gay. And by the end of the show, she fully accepts Emily as her gay daughter. And he, she will go in good as gold alongside the other particularized mums we've talked about so far the, the fourth and final particular mum that's the that's that's mums of the that's the mums of the main pluralized cats so uh, that's the mums of aria who we've done emily who we've done and ashley who we've done so it's the, the parents of the particularized aria emily hannah spencer and Alison as well. Um, now. We've got Maya. Now, Maya was 100%, 100% underused in the series. She lasted, she was Emily's first girlfriend but sadly lasted two seasons when she was killed by her, by a guy, by Lyndon James, who is posing as his, as his, as her non-existent cousin. And that was stupid. That was to kill her off, off screen, and have her be killed off by a jealous ex-boyfriend 
is a cliche, is cliche. It's 100% cliche. And I think she can't go super high on this tier list because of her lack of appearance. She's, like I said, she's only in the series for two seasons. And unfortunately, two seasons just is is an... Is enough to make an was enough to make an impression, but not enough to get her, to put her any higher in this tier list, any higher than okay in this tier list. Okay, now we've got Toby. Now. Mm. Toby, 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 Toby. Started the series on... Started this, didn't start the series on the best of terms. But to be honest, to be fair, he was being controlled. All, most of, a lot of his actions was being controlled by his sister, Jenna. So everything, she did, everything he did in the first few seasons can be ignored. And once he breaks away from Jenna and starts to break out of his shell, he becomes a completely different character. His, his character is definitely helped by the relationship he has with Spencer. Yes, they've been through, yes, in the series they went through some tough times, like being, like, for Spent, like Toby marrying Yvonne and all that sort of stuff. But once, but, but then, in, but in the end, Toby and Spencer came through and showed that they are a good couple and that showed and Toby definitely showed why he deserves a spot in the Pretty Little Eyes Icons section because first two seasons nowhere near a Pretty Little Eyes Icon but come the end of the series he is up there as one of the he's definitely the most improved character in the show and is going to make and deserves a spot in the particularized icons. Alongside her girlfriend and her... Alongside Spencer and her friends. So next up, I mentioned her while we were talking about Toby. Jenna Marshall. Now... Jenna Marshall. Jenna Marshall. The first true Pristalize antagonist. And she. And she takes pride in being bad. And that is why. And because she takes pride in being bad. She's going to be the first. Character. In the bad to the core tier. But also the first character. In one of the bottom two tiers. Which is surprising. But uh, but it's only been up till now. Since we've had a truly despicable character. Mona. 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 The first. The original A. The person who first represented. The first person who represented. The first person who represented the black hoodie. But since then, she's come pretty far. And that's a lot down to not only the show's writing, but also down to the performance of Janelle... Janelle Monet Of the actress who plays Daniela Mon... No, that's... Mm. Wait one second. Wait a second. Um.
Like I was saying, Mona Stott was the original A. Was the original A. And but since since being revealed as the original A, she's changed. And that's one down to the writing of the show. But also down to the performance of Jan Mona's actor, actress Janelle Parrish. Who does a really good job portraying the evil version of Mona in season one and two. And the lesser evil version of Mona from season two onwards. She is pretty evil. In, she is still pretty bad in the first few seasons. She is still pretty bad. In the next few seasons after season one. She is still bad in season three. But season four. She's, but then season four onwards is when she starts. When she turns to the good side and starts, you know, being an ally to the A. To an ally to the liars rather than a the opposite of an ally and what Mona has done what Mona has done what Mona has done from season four onwards puts her in pretty liars icons Yeah, she goes in Pretty Liars Icons. We've got now got eight characters in the Pretty Liars Icons tier. I told you there'd be at least a top ten in that tier. And that we've already got my top eight characters in that tier. Now, we've got... Now we've got Melissa, Spencer's older sister... Um, she's, she's an okay sister to Spencer, but then to be fair, Spencer isn't as good of us, but, but then to be fair, but then to be fair, she isn't that great of a sister for, but to be fair, Spencer isn't, isn't, Melissa is an okay sister to Spencer, but Spencer's also an okay sister to Melissa, and I actually think Spencer's a worse sister than Melissa. But in terms of, in terms of, who's the better character, Melissa or Spencer? Melissa. And where does Melissa go? She goes it, alongside Maya in OK. I'm really annoyed. Let's move on. Uh, I've just put... If that, if you were wondering what that moment of silence was, it was me putting the next character in Worst of the Worst. And who is that character, you may ask? The infamous... The infamous and awful person. The infamous Ian Thomas. Truly a despicable person and a despicable character so she is 100 percent he 100 percent goes in the worst of the worst category not only is he a bad character in my opinion he's also a bad con character con considered he's not only considered a bad character in my personal opinion but he's also considered one of the worst characters in the franchise by prison Liars fans and he des truly deserves to be worst of the worst and we're also going to I'm trying to get through a couple very quickly. Next up, Sean. What, Hannah's first boyfriend of the series. Uh, okay. Uh, Caleb. Well, we have... The ninth character going into the Pistol Flyers icon tier, and that is Caleb. So she, and the reason why Caleb 
goes in the Pearl of Icons tier is because Ezra and Ezra and Toby are in there, and Ezra and Toby are in there, and Spencer is and as and as and as Toby and Ezra are in the top tier, then Caleb has to be in the top tier alongside them because I feel like Caleb, Ezra. I feel like there's not much to separate Caleb, Ezra, and Toby, and that's why I think all three of them have to be in the top tier. So Caleb straight into the top tier, alongside. So the ninth, we have put the we have got the so far we've got my top nine. We got nine characters already in the top tier, which means we've already got a top nine. Spencer, Arya, Hannah, Ezra, Emily. Alison, Mona, Toby, and Caleb in no particular order. Next up, Lucas. Um, Lucas. Yeah, he's fine. Not a bad. By, um, by no means a good cat, but no, but. Definitely not a good character, but no means a but but no means a bad character. So okay. Um. Next up, Noel. First few seasons, Noel would have gone into the okay tier, but after his return later on in the series, after going on a little bit of an absence, bad to the core. The final mum, and that is Spencer's mum, Veronica, Veronica, and Veronica goes alongside the other mums in Good as Gold. Oh, wait, we've still got we still got Alison's mum as well, but yeah, more on Veronica. Veronica is a nice character. She's a nice person, nice character. Nothing spectacular, but nothing awful, but nothing bad. Mike. The younger brother, the little brother to, the little brother to, to uh, little brother to Arya. And he's a good brother to Arya. But he, across the whole series, across the whole series, he does, across the whole series, he does have some moments that take him down a notch. And that's why he's going in the okay tier. Because he's not a bad cat, so he can't go back. He's not going to go bad to the core because he's not a bad cat. But he's not going to go into good as gold because I don't think he's a good character. He's in the middle of the series in terms of character. In terms of character. In terms of how good his character is. Next up is Paige. Paige, Emily's... One of Emily's former girlfriends. And just like Lucas and Mike, she's a good character, but she did have some bad moments. And just like Mike and Lucas, she goes in okay. Oh, God. My me. My, 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 my science for one more again. So yeah, uh, that little minute of science that I asked you for was to put the second cat, the second cat, a second character into the worst of the worst tier. And this time, it's not a character who isn't as bad as Ian, Dan Warden. But just because he's not as bad as Ian doesn't mean he's a bad character. So yeah, Dan Warden, worst of the worst. Next up, we got what's his second name? We've got next up, we've got Alex Santiago. That is one of Spencer's early season boyfriends, and he can only go in in okay because he's he can only go in okay because because he's not a good character. He's not a bad character. But he's also not been in the. But he also wasn't in the series for long. So okay, uh, Ren Kingston. 
I believe Ren Kingston was underused in the show. And that's why he cannot go any higher than OK. Bad. He's done some bad things, but he's a good person. He's, a good, he's an OK person and an OK character. So OK for Ren Kingston. Uh, the first we we talked about Byron earlier. Now we're moving on to we talked about Arya's dad Byron earlier. Now we're going to be talking about Spencer's dad, Peter Hastings. I don't. I don't actually mind Peter as a. I don't mind Peter as a character. He's not as good as his wife. But still good enough, but I still believe he deserves to go in good as gold. And that's where he'll go. Good as gold. Now. One of. Certainly one of. Certainly one of. The put eyes divisive. This. The first we're going to. There is one. Group of characters. In the Pre-Lives franchise, that have st where it's where some of them are good, but some of the, some of them are neutral, but some of them are bad. And I'm talking about police officers. We have got our first. Other than that, we've got our we've got our sec we've we've got our second police officer character after Wilden, and it's the underrated character. Barry Maple, who, as a character, and as a cop, good as gold. Simple, not not, not much screen time, not, not many appearances, but what in the appearances he does have, he's a good police officer. He does his job, and unlike Wilden and the person we'll get to next, he isn't a bad person. Who is that person that we're going to, who's the person we're going to next? Gat Reynolds. Who goes alongside Ian and Wilden as one of the worst of the worst captors in Pre Flyers. And he's the third captor in the worst of the worst tier. Hope probably not the last. Uh, and we got two more players players left on we've got two more captors left on this first page. And the first of those two captors is Wayne Fields, Emily's deceased dad Emily's dad in the scene was an early season was an early season character of the show before he was before he passed away in between during the five year gap in season during the five year time jump in season four so because of because the, he was because he passed away in season in that during the time jump in season four he can't go anywhere but okay. And the final player, well, final player, the final character on this first page is the is the person who Byron cheated on Ella with, and that is Meredith Lorenz. Meredith, given the fact she went along with a someone, went along with Byron's, went along with an old m man. Sh Meredith, Meredith. There's something. There's just something about Meredith. There's just something from about Meredith that makes me despise her, and that one, and that something is the fact she went along with an affair. She, her, she one, she had an affair with a married man. Despite that married man being 
much, much older than her. And she thought it was okay to allow someone who was much, much older than her to have an affair with her. And because of that, she goes in the ballot to the court here because she did... Why a bad character is defined by their, by their bad actions. And Meredith did one of the worst things ever you could ever do. And that is have an affair with someone much, much older than you. And because of that, she goes in the bad to the core. Next up, we have... The second brother of, of one of the lies. We had Mike earlier on. We had the brother of Arya earlier on in Mike. We have... The second sibling, the separate, second crystallised sibling. And that is Jason De Laurentiis, who is... Who's going in good as gold. Underused, but he does enough good thing. He does enough things that he doesn't. He does enough good. He does enough good things to put himself in good as gold. And there's not really much to say about him. He's a good. He ends up. He ends up being actually turning out to be a really good brother for to Allison and deserves and will make. And because of that, he just about sneaks into good as gold. Tom Marin, Hannah's old dad. Hannah, uh, Ashley's ex-husband. Is that? Yes. He div Obviously, he did... H Hannah dealt with something that loads of people to deal with. And that is... And that is divorce. Now, that's nothing again. Obviously, I'm not saying divorce I'm not saying the his divorce from Ashley makes him a bad character because divorce is you know a thing of life parent adult couples are going to get divorced and so it's not you can't blame him divorce him getting divorced from you can't blame him from being for for divorcing for getting divorced with Ashley because divorcing people div divorcing happens and it's a way of divorcing is a way of life. Couples will get divorced. So she go, so he goes in okay. So next up, we've got the next character. The next character is the second is is confirmed to be returning in the HBRX Prelia series. Pretty Little Liars Original Sin. And that is the psychiatrist from season three. And that is the psychiatrist from season three, Dr. Sullivan. Full name, full real name, Anne Sullivan. So she's, so Anne Sullivan is going, like I said, is going to appear in, is going to make a return to the Pretty Little Liars series in original sin, so I'm curious to see what hap what what Pritchard's original sin do with Anne Sullivan in season two of the show. But in terms of Pritchard's Anne Sullivan, given the fact in during in her pits she was doing her job and she was doing her job right, she goes in okay. Not good as gold because lack of screen time. Okay. Next up, we have Holden, one of Arya's old friends. Holden, just like Dr. Sullivan, has limited screen time. And But just like Alan Sullivan, what he does in that screen time allows him to sneak in, allows him to finish in OK. And also Donna, Dr. Alan Sullivan and Holden are nowhere near, are not bad cats, so they don't, Nowhere near deserve to be in a tear called bad to the core. So she goes in okay. So, he, so Holden goes in okay. Jackie Molina. Jackie Molina. Bad to the core. She blackmailed Arya. 
blackmail, blackmail, blackmailing someone's wrong, bad to the core. Simple. Uh, next up is Andrew Campbell. Early season Andrew Campbell, okay. Later season Andrew Campbell, bad to the core. Next up. Next up we have Samara Cook. We have Samara Cook. Hey, we've got some we've got some... we got you got Samar Cook. Wait one second, I've got a... I got to sort out. Wait, no, we just got rid of her. Okay. Um, who were we on? Oh yeah, we were talking about Samar Cook. Samara. Samara will go in OK. The OK tier is starting to, just to warn you, the OK tier is starting to fill up. So there's a chance it might be the biggest, so it's probably going to be the biggest tier on this tier list. But Samara, lack of screen time, not bad, not bad enough as a person or a character to go bad to the core. So OK. Next up. Kate Randall, that is Aunt Hannah's, that is Hannah's adopt, that's Tom's adopt, that's Hannah's sister, S sister in law, Hannah's sister in law. Kate Randall is Hannah's sister in law. Uh, Tom Marin's daughter. And she's going to go in bad to the core. One thing to describe Kate Randall is the annoying sister. She's an annoying person. She's a bad person. She has a bad personality. She isn't. She has a bad personality. She's a bad person. She's a bad character. Bad to the core. Her mum, on the other hand, isn't as bad and goes in okay. Her mum's called Kate Randall. Uh, next up, Ted. I like, I liked Ted. I definitely liked Ted, so I'm going to put him in good as gold. Next up, Nate. Nate. Bad to the core. Nate, bad to the core. Killing your ex-girlfriend just because she's moved on with another person. Bad motive for killing. He killed. He killed Maya just because he was her ex. Just because her ex. Just because his ex-girlfriend. Just because Maya started dating. Just because Maya was with Emily. Her, Nate. A.K.A. Lyndon James. Just decided to kill her because of that. And that doesn't bode well with me. So bad to the court. Charlotte De Laurentiis, the second, the second A of Pretty Little is going to go in the worst of the worst. And the main reason is she's an A with no redeeming qualities after she's revealed as, with no redeem, with no redemption. Mona, A with redemption. Charlotte, A without redemption. Worst of the worst. Next up is Ezra's younger brother, Wes, who's going to go in okay. Good, seems like a nice person. Seems like a good brother to Ezra and an okay character. Uh, next up, we've got 
Ezra's old wife. Ezra's wife, Maggie. There's a cat. We've got Malcolm Cutler, who is the son of the character Maggie Cutler, who happens to be Ezra's ex-wife. And he's going to go. In OK, the fact is, he's just a kid. Doesn't do much. Doesn't do anything good. Doesn't do anything bad. And that's mainly, and that's because he's a kid. So, OK. Shauna, the third A, the third player that, we, that we're talking about, will go in bad to the core. Just like with Charlotte, no, just like with Charlotte, Charlotte, A, without redemption. Shauna, A, without redemption, because she dies before, straight, she dies soon after she was revealed as A, so she doesn't have enough time to have a redemption. And because of that, she's, one tier higher than Charlotte. Charlotte had loads of time to possibly have a redemption, but she never did. However, Shauna died shortly after she was revealed as a, so bad to the core. Not worst to the worst. Next up. Next up is Zack. A despicable character who dated... Ella and then tried and then hit, tried and then decided to hit on his wife's door. He was Ella's boy, one of Ella's boyfriends throughout the series, and one of the things he did, and one of the things he did, and one of the things he did while he was Ella's boyfriend is freaking hit on Ella's daughter. She hit on Zach hit on Arya despite the fact she he was the boyfriend of Arya's mum. That is something to hit on the daughter of the person you're dating is completely wrong and that's why he goes and bad to the core because he fucking because he freaking Hit on the daughter of his girlfriend, of his then girlfriend. That is stupid. Bad to the core is where Zach goes. No debate whatsoever. Next up, we got Maggie Cutler. Mentioned her earlier. She's going alongside her son, Malcolm Cutler, in OK. Uh, next up is uh, next up is Ezra's mum, Diane Fitzgerald. Wait, was oh shit! I've just realised. I think one of the characters I said earlier, one of the characters I talked about earlier was was a lot. One of the characters I talked about earlier was Andrew Campbell. And I was talking about Andrew Campbell. Oh, my lists, my list says on on here on my list it says. Andrew Campbell here, where, I'm, where my finger is. However, I've talked about him. I talked about him early on in the video, because apparently his picture, his picture was, in, in, was his picture was, his picture. Did his picture didn't correspond to where he is on this list? So we talked. So he, so the next name on the list after Diane Fitzgerald, as his mum, is Andrew Campbell. We've already talked about him. So we're on to the next character after Andrew, which is Eddie Lamb. Now, Eddie Lamb returned in Prince of Lies of Richardson, played by a different actor. But overall, he was doing his job. Not a good cat, not a bad character. Not a bad character by all means. So, okay. So, next up, we have Kenneth D. Laurentiis, Allison's dad. The first of Allison's parents. Um... Uh, Kenneth isn't a good dad. Bad to the bad to the core. Kenneth is nowhere near a good dad. Bad to the core. Uh, Holbrook started out well and would have gone good as gold, but ends up going in bad to the core. Actually, no, he'll go in worst of worst of the worst because of what the show did to him. Um, Jake, one of the past, one of the people. Oh, it dated. 
Okay. Um, next up, we've got, next up, we've got Travis Hobbs, someone who Hannah dated early on in the series, before end up ending up marrying, before she ended up marrying Caleb. Um, where do I put Travis Hobbs? I put him, I'll put him in, I'll put him in as good as, I'll put him in good as gold, because he is a good character. See, so yeah, Holden, Holden, Travis, Hobbs, Travis, Travis Hobbs, good as gold. Because he's a good character. Um, next up is one of the good police officers. We talked about the bad police officers, Holbrook. Uh, Holbrook, Garrett Reynolds, Gabriel Holbrook, Gabri Garrett Reynolds, and Darren Wilden, and the good police officer, and the good police officer Barry. We're we're talking about another good police officer, and that is Lynn, and that is Linda Tanner, who goes straight in good as gold. For me, definitely the best police officer in the whole series. So yeah, then the good as gold. A good character. Oh, we didn't put Diane Fitzgerald in the tier. We didn't put. We didn't put um. We didn't put. Ezra's mum in the tier list. We'll put her in okay. So yeah. Uh, Diane, okay. Next up, Carla Grimwald. Yeah, not much to say about her. She's an, not not much to say about her. She's an okay character. Um, uh, we've got, um, Dean Stavros, who was Spencer's guidance counselor for a short period of the, in the, for a small period in the, of the series. Where does he go? Where does he go in my tier list? Good as gold. Next up, Miranda Collins. More prominent in Ravens were only in two episodes of Pillar Eyes, but does enough to earn herself a spot in Good as Gold. Um, next up, one of Mike's classmates who also hit on Arya, just like, just like Zach, and that is Connor. Who is going to be worse of the worst because Connor hit on. I'm sorry, not. Just like how. Just like how Zach hit on Aria while he was girlfriend, while he was the boyfriend of Ella. Well. Well, Connor hit on Arya, despite knowing that Arya was the sister of one of his friends and classmates in Mike. So, bad to the core. Uh, next up. Next up is... Next up is... Next up is... Next up is Talia. 
Mendoza, someone who dated Emily for a little while. Yeah, okay. Now I've got to, won't leave, leave me for one second, I've got to try and find the rest of the characters that we're missing. Wait one second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. I'm trying to find out where the there are two characters that are not currently on the document I'm working with, and that is and those are and those are Sydney Driscoll and Arthur Hackick. We're going to quickly go through the characters that are on the document, the rest of the characters that are going to be on put on this to this that are on the document, and then I'm quickly going to get the pictures of and then I'm quickly and now I'm quickly going to get pictures of Mr. Hackett. And, Arthur Hackett and Sidney Driscoll once we've done the rest of the characters that are on the doc the rest of the characters that will be on this tier list that are on the document that will be ranked on the tier list that are on this document uh, next up we've got next up is Mona's mum Leona Van der Vol is a good mum to Mona doesn't show it but it seems like she is still a good but it seems like given the fact that she was emotional when she found out Mona was dead makes me think she does care about Mona so okay uh, Leslie Stone Leslie Stone bad to the core Leslie Stone bad to the core. She's a bad character. Uh, what was the next? Sarah Harvey, worst of the worst. Charlotte's lucky. Started out fine, but once we found out she was Charlotte's lucky, then she completely fell down. The, fell down, my opinion of death. But as soon as she was re revealed as a comp an accomplice to Charlotte, she started down training as a character and I was so happy to see when she got killed off. So worst of the worst. Okay. We've now got Lorenzo. One the second to last cop character on this tier list. Lorenzo not a big character in the series, but for me a good character. So good as gold. Now we've got next up. Next up is Elliot Hall and Sasha Archer Dunhill. Um, despicable character. Worst of the worst. Pretended to be a doctor just to just to take advantage of a patient. So just to take advantage of Anson. So worst of the worst. Uh, next up. Next up is next up is Clark Wilkins. Clark is a was just a normal person was a normal was a normal character just a normal person that Arya met one day at hot at the at a place called in the show called Hollis, and he ended up later being revealed as a police officer, but again, 
not a bad, a good character, despite what, finding out he was a funny, but despite, uh, he'll go in good as gold, because yes, we did find out that he was an undercover cop, but cops be cops, and compared to cops like Gat Reynolds, Dan Morden and Holbrook, he's not bad, so good as gold. And I kind of liked his relationship with Oh yeah, despite based on despite the fact it was based on a lie. We've now got Clark Wilkins. Wait no, we've, wait no. We've got Liam Green, who ex boy Ali's Ali's ex boyfriend. He did have a bit of hatred towards Ezra, but. When your wife is So yeah, Clark, good as gold, undercover cop. Norm, he started out as a normal person, but then was revealed to be an undercover cop. But that doesn't hamper him being, that doesn't hamper his positioning, good as gold. Liam Green, wait, we've already talked about Clark. He under police, under, started out as a normal guy, was revealed as an under police, cop, police officer, but, but despite that, good as gold. Liam Green, despite his hatred towards Ezra, he was a good character, so good as gold. Uh, next up, Sabrina. Someone who Emily didn't date, but someone who Emily had a crush on. Well, who Emily found out she would have a who Emily eventually found out she had a crush on. Um, I don't mind Sabrina. I like Sabrina as a character, so. So we're going to put her in OK. Uh, sorry, I'm, uh, if you're wondering why I'm looking at my tablet and not paying attention to you and not talking, it's because I'm currently adjusting my tier list. I usually, when I do. Usually, when I do tier lists, I do them on Tier Maker, but recently, once I lost. But since I lost my iPad, I've been creating my own tier lists on Word. So. So I'm adjusting So we're adjusting
Fucking hell. There's, there's one problem with doing a Word document is it's annoying. Because word is fucking. Because word is faffy. I'm trying to get the every picture on this tier list aligned with each other. So under the picture up under picture with. I would just. Oh, I would just put him, put him up. Put hold him up. I'll just leave it like that. Fair enough. Okay, next. Okay, now I've got, now I've just now I sorted out my tier list. On to the next character, Jordan Hubbard. That is the that is Hannah's ex husband. Um, he's an okay character. Not in the series for long, but doesn't do anything bad. Doesn't do anything extremely good. Doesn't doesn't do anything good. Doesn't do anything bad. So, okay. Next up is Nicole Gordon. Nicole Gordon. I'm going to put Nicole. I'm also going to put Nicole alongside Jordan in in OK. Again, just like everyone else in OK, she's an OK character. Um, uh, Yvonne, underused character, but OK character. Um, Marion Cavanaugh. Killed up. Killed before the show. Killed before the series even. Killed killed before the events of the series. So okay. Um, Bethany Young. Bad to the core. Killed. Killed. Ma killed Toby's mum, Marion, who we talked about. Literally just part. Who we literally literally just talked about before. Bethany Young. After pushing, but yeah, uh, Bethany on bad to the core, killed Toby's mum, Marion Cabernet, who he literally just talked about by pushing her off the top of Rally Sanitarium, which is a place in the in the series. Uh, Mary Drake, worst of the worst. Jessica Lewentis's twin sister and the mum of. And the mum of Alex Drake, who's also going to go in Worst of the Worst. Um, we've got two more characters before we talk about Arthur Hackett, Sydney Driscoll, and Mrs. De Laurentiis, Jessica De Laurentiis. We've got Marco Fury. Just like with, just like with Tanner, Lorenzo, and Barry. A good police officer and goes and goes in and goes in is oh fucking hell. You know what? Uh, unfortunately, I was gonna put I was gonna put Fury in Good as gold, because I think he's a good character, but Good as Gold is full, and I don't really want to uh, try and adjust that tier to fit Mark of Fury in it, so we're going to put him in okay. Oh, fucking hell! Got to do some more adjusting of this tier list, it's just annoying. And it's not making this tier list is not helping with all the notifications I'm getting on my tablet. So he goes it so unfortunately as good as gold is full and I don't really wanna adjust good as gold to fit Mark a few into good as gold. We're gonna put him in okay, but just to say I was he would go in good as gold if if one if there was room and two if I want let me let me rephrase that. Because there's no room left in Good as Gold, I'm putting Marco Fury 
in, okay. But if there was space in good as gold, I would put Marco Fury in, in that tier. So just take that into consideration. And finally, Addison Dewinger, the the Addison, the new Addison who appears at the end of the series. In her one appearance, in her one appearance, she's in her few appearances, she's a bad person. So worst of the worst. Not bad to the core, worst of the worst, because every scene she's in, she's a bad person. Whereas in whereas in bad the cats in bad to core, there's something about them. Uh, but yeah, Addison, worst of the worst. She's a bad character, but she goes in worst of the worst because all she all she does, she's a bully and she, she's not going to... I assume she wouldn't have the same, uh, the same redemption as Addison. So bad, worst of the worst. Now we've got to quickly get pictures for... We've now got to quickly get pictures for... Sydney Driscoll and Alec Arthur Hackett and Jessica De Laurentiis. Off Hackett, bad to the core. He's actually a pretty bad principal. Not an awful principal, but a pretty bad principal. She off Hackett, bad to the core. Not a great principal. Bad principal. Not an awful. Not a. a not the worst principle in the world, but not a bad, not a good principle. Bad principle, not the worst principle in the world, but definitely not a good principle. Okay, bad to set off hackett, bad to the core. Sydney Driscoll. Sydney Driscoll. Also goes in bad to the core. A senior school, like I said, also goes into bad to the core. And finally, the last player, the last character, the last character for this tier list is. Jessica De Laurentiis, who is also going to go in bad to the core. How? This is ridiculous. Like I said, with a tier list on tier maker, it's easy. With a tier list on word document, it's so much more so or so difficult. There you go. So yeah, we're done with putting the characters in the tiers. Let's quickly go through each tier and remind you what characters I put in each of the tiers. So worst of the worst. Ian Thomas, Gat Reynolds, Gabriel Holbrook, oh, Gabriel Holbrook, Archer Dunhill slash Elliot Rawlins, Alex Drake, Wilden, Darren Wilden, Charlotte De Laurentiis, Sarah Harvey, Mary De Laurentiis, and Addison Dewinger. Bad to the core, Leslie Stone, Bethany Young, Arthur Hackett, Sidney Driscoll, Jessica De Laurentiis, Jenna Marshall, uh, Jenna Marshall, Jackie Molina, Kate, 
Kate Randall. Kate Randall, Shauna Fring, Kenneth De Laurentiis, Noel Kahn, Meredith Lorenzen. Sorry, Meredith. Yeah, Meredith Lorenzen. Andrew Campbell, Lyndon James slash Nate Saint slash Nate Saint Germain. Uh, Zach Connor. Okay, Samara Cook. Isabel Marin. Wes Fitzger Wesley Fitzgerald, Malcolm Cutler, Maggie Cutler, Eddie Lamb, Jake, Diane Fitzgerald, Carla Grunwald, Talia Sandoval, Leona Vanderville, Samara, Samara, sorry, Sabrina, Holden, Sabrina, Jordan Hubbard, Nicole Gordon, Yvonne Phillips, Marion Kavanagh, Marco Fury, Maya St. Germain, Sean Ackard, Mike Montgomery, Alex Santiago, Wayne Fields, Anne Sullivan, Anne Sullivan, uh, Melissa Hastings, Lucas, Lucas Gottesman, Paige McCullers, um why am I what is going on with Oh Ren Kingston Ren Kingston Tom Marin Holden Strauss Good as Gold Linda Tanner Linda Tanner Dean Stavros, Miranda Collins, Lorenzo Calderon, Liam Green, uh, Liam Green, oh, Liam Green, Ashley Marin, Byron Montgomery, Veronica Hastings, Barry Maple, Tom Marin. Ella Montgomery, Pam Fields, Peter Hastings, Jason De Holden Strauss, Clark Wilkins, and then Pritzelar's icons. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I said at least the top 10 will be in Pritzelar's icons. we got to pick one character from Good as Gold to move into the Pritzelar's icons cat tier. Which character from Good as Gold deserves to go up one tier to Pritzelar's icons? For me, Jason De Laurentiis. So Jason De Laurentiis is not going to be in Good as Gold. He's going to be in... Put all his icons. J Jason, Van Jason De Laurentiis. And finally, I've just moved one character into Put all his icons. So, the, put the characters in the Put all his icons tier and... For me, the top 10 characters in Pretty Little Liars. In no particular order, Jason De Laurentiis, Toby Cavanaugh, Caleb Rivers, Mona Vanderville, Alison De Laurentiis, Emily Fields, Ian Montgomery, Ezra Fitz, Hannah Marin, Spencer Hastings. In order, 10th, Jason. 9th, Caleb. 8th, Toby. 7th, Spencer. 6th, Emily, 5th, wait no, 10th, Jason, 9th, Mona, 8th, Caleb, 7th, Toby, 6th, Spencer, 5th, Emily, 4th, Alison, 3rd, Hannah, 2nd, Ezra, 1st, Aria. And that's it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed this, uh, this tier list for the Prison Lies characters. Not every character from Prison Lies, but most of the characters subscribe to my channel click the notification bell to catch up with all my latest videos but until the next video on Gibby O'Brien this has been Joe O'Brien I'm out peace have a good have a good night and bye bye